Hello and welcome to this challenge called Lottery Numbers, where we're going to write a Python script to create a lottery game. Now the purpose of this challenge is to generate a list of six unique numbers between 1 and 50. Then we will also ask the user to enter their selections of six numbers. And then we will compare both lists to see if any of the numbers are the same. Now let's look at the code that we've already started for you. The first thing we see is on line 6 we are initializing an empty list of numbers called lottery numbers. And then we've got a for loop that will repeat 6 times and that's where we're going to generate the 6 random numbers. These numbers would be between 1 and 50. Now the challenge here was to make sure that those numbers are unique and that we don't end up picking the same number twice. And that's done thanks to the while loop that appears on line 11, where we're basically checking if the number is already in the list of lottery numbers. If it is, then we're going to create a new random number. And we're going to check again if it's in the list. And if it is, then we're going to do this again and again and again till we find a number that has not been picked before and in that case we're going to append it to our list. Once we've got the six numbers we are sorting the list and finally we are displaying the list on line 23. Okay, so let's test this code to see what it does. Here we go, it's generating a list of numbers. These are sorted and these are unique. Now what we want to do is now ask the user to enter their selection of six numbers uh, but we need to do so before displaying the lottery numbers otherwise it would be too easy to guess. So what we're going to do here is initialize a new list called user numbers and to start with it will be an empty list and then we're going to ask for six numbers. Now I could use six inputs or I could use similar to line eight I could use a for loop. And we're going to ask the user to input a number. So I'm going to use an input statement. But because I'm asking for a number, I'm going to use the int function um, to convert the user input into an integer. So an input. Please enter a number between 1 and 50. And this number, I'm going to append it to the list of user numbers. So user numbers dot append number. Okay. Now, I'm going to use a very similar approach to what we did on line 11 to 13 here to make sure that the user is not entering twice the same number. So I'm going to use a very similar approach here to what we did on line 11 to line 13. I'm going to use a while loop and while the number is already in the list of user numbers, then I will be asking again for another number instead. I'm also going to check that the number is valid, so if it's not valid, I will be asking again. And what do I mean by this is I mean if the user enter a number that is strictly below 1 or strictly greater than 50. In that case, that's an invalid number and they will have to try again. So I'm going to print this blue message, invalid number, please try again. And I'm going to ask them to type the number. So I'm going to copy that line 23 and I'm going to put it into that while loop. So I need to indent this code further. Perfect, so at this stage, it's going to repeat this code six times. It's going to ask the user for a number, make sure it is a unique number and that is between one and 50. And if not, it's going to ask for another input. Um, if the number is valid, then it's going to append it to my list of user numbers. Perfect. So we can now display the lottery winning numbers. And we can also display the user selection so that we can then compare those two lists. So let's display the user selection. Your selection. And I'm going to display the list. So print. And the final stage of this program is to now count how many of the numbers um, appear in both lists. So I'm going to use a counter, which I will initialize to zero. And then for each number from the user selection, 
for number in user numbers. I am going to check that if this number is in the lottery numbers, in that case, my counter will increment by one plus equal one. Perfect. And at the very end, my last uh, line of code here is going to display how many numbers are the same, which was the purpose of this challenge. So you guess, and then I'm going to concatenate. Now, because uh, counter is a number, I'm going to use um, str to convert it to a string, and then I'm going to concatenate the rest of the message numbers. Now, we don't know how many numbers they will have guessed, so I'm going to put s in brackets and then correctly. Perfect. And that should be it. Now, I've done all of this code without testing anything. Um, so hopefully it will actually work. So please enter a number between 1 and 50. I'm going to type 10. Please enter, I'm going to type 25. Um, we've also said that I shouldn't be able to type a negative number. So if I do, it's asking me to try again. Perfect. So I'm going to type 40. I shouldn't be able to type a number bigger than 50. So if I type 55, it should ask me to try again. And I shouldn't be able to enter a number that I've already selected. So for instance, uh, I shouldn't be able to put 25 again. Perfect. So I've got to use unique numbers. 37 and 19. One more, 21. Perfect. So today the lottery numbers are there. My selection is here and I didn't guess any number correctly. Now that's very unlucky. Effectively, when you're going to test, it's quite hard to actually guess numbers out of 50. Um, you've got a very thin chance of actually winning the lottery. Uh, for testing purposes, what you might want to do is, instead of selecting a number between one and 50, you could say, I'm going to select a number between one and 20. Now you've got to change a few uh, things in your code here, um, but it will make it easier to test and you'll have a stronger chance of winning actually uh, or getting more numbers right so you've got to change that uh, quite a few times here 50 to 20 but that makes your code easier to test so let's try it again one more time and hopefully i will guess a few right i'm going to put 3 7 um, 12 um, 18 11 and 9 and you see here, I've guessed three numbers correctly. Uh, and we can check to see if it's correct. Um, effectively, I've guessed number three, I've guessed number 12, and I've guessed number 11. That is perfect. That's all I wanted to show you for today. So you can have a go at completing this code and you can test it yourself as well. Okay, good luck with your code and thanks for watching.